We are now taking orders for the mascot glitch on current gen PlayStation only. If you want us to do this for you, join the Perkules Discord or hit me up on Twitter or Instagram. All those links will be in the description down below. Make sure you are Cash App or PayPal ready. In this video, I'm gonna be showing you guys every single next gen VC glitch that you can use to make a lot of VC. Each one of these glitches are on my channel if you need a better explanation. Drop a like, man, drop a sub, turn on post notification, take advantage of these, of these glitches while you can, and I'm gonna go ahead and get right into the video. All right, so look, man, for this first glitch, what you guys wanna do is you wanna go ahead and load up your best player that gives you the most VC per marker game. Ideally, you'd wanna do this glitch with a player that has a max contract. To get a max contract, all you have to do is win the NBA Finals and be Finals MVP, and that would allow you to get a thousand VC each time that you do this glitch. But with or without a max contract, you can still get a lot of VC by doing this glitch. So what you guys want to do, like I said, is load up your best player into the city. Once you guys do that, go ahead and go over to your options, go over to your settings, make sure you put the game difficulty on rookie or whatever you feel most comfortable with because you do wanna get up by 25 before the third quarter starts. So play on whatever you feel most comfortable with for the quarter length and make sure you put it on five minutes. After you guys have adjusted your settings, you can also go over to your progression, go down to takeover, make sure you have limitless range as your primary takeover if possible and put on an accelerator if possible as well. That will help you with this glitch. After you guys have adjusted all your settings, all you wanna do is go ahead and load up your next My Career game. Now, once this game loads up, you guys want to get up by 25 before the third quarter starts. This game goes by extremely fast because for the most part, you will get subbed out in the second quarter for like half of the second quarter. So like I said, you guys want to just ball out, shoot as many threes as possible, and you want to get up by 25 before the third quarter starts. All right, so look, man, at the start of the third quarter, you want to make sure that you are up by 25, which is extremely easy to do. Also, most of the time, you will get subbed out for half of the second quarter. It just really depends. But once the third quarter starts and you're up by 25, you are able to ask to send them out with DC. And then as you guys can see, you will get your my career salary. Like I said, you can get a thousand VC each time that you do this glitch if you have a max contract. For this next glitch, it's gonna be coming from the Courting Calloway quest. You unlock this quest as soon as you become a starter. So yeah, man, once you become a starter, you'll be able to do this glitch. Also, before you guys do this glitch, open up your map and make sure you set your spawn point to this subway where I'm at right here because this will speed up this glitch so you don't have to travel across the city each time that you load in. So yeah man, once you guys have done those two things, you wanna go ahead and walk up to this Devin Booker court.
Now look man, once you guys walk up to Devin Booker, you wanna go ahead and start this game up. Now listen bro, in this game, you wanna get through it as fast as possible. So what I do is I shoot threes on offense and I let the AI score on defense. So yeah, I mean, you basically just wanna get through this game as fast as possible. The settings is basically on park mode. So all you simply wanna do is step back and shoot. As long as you time your jump shot well, you'll be able to shoot consistently. So yeah, man, shoot threes, let the AI score on defense and get through this game as fast as possible. All right, so look, man, as long as you shoot threes and don't miss a shot, you'll be able to get through this game extremely fast. As soon as this game is over with, make sure you guys are paying attention. As soon as you see your VC load up, all you simply want to do is close out the game and then you want to go ahead and reload the game back up. It'll show your VC as soon as you see it pop up, go ahead and hit quit. Make sure you are paying attention because if you miss this window, you won't be able to spam this VC glitch. After you guys quit out, go ahead and reload the game back up and go ahead and reload your same player back up as well. Once you guys reload the same player back up, you can go ahead and restart this Devin Booker game and you can repeat this as many times as you'd like until you get as much VC as you need. For this next glitch, what you guys wanna do is you wanna go over to play now and then you wanna go over to blacktop. You wanna hit 1v1, you wanna then change your roster and then go over to user credit roster. If you are on Xbox, I've already made a roster for you that works perfect for this VC glitch. If you're on PlayStation, just find one that says Steph Curry VC glitch, it shouldn't be that hard, or you can make your own. But if you are on Xbox, go ahead and hit search, hit search by content name, and then type in my channel, which is gonna be JR Way to Code. This will go ahead and show you the roster that I made for you that you can use for this VC glitch. So it, it should be the very first one that pops up. So you wanna go ahead and equip that. And then once this loads on, you wanna go ahead and put your controller on the left hand side. And then you wanna go ahead and hit advanced. Put the game conditions all the way down to five. Hit advanced again. And then if you're using my roster, make sure you go over to the Golden State Warriors. I've made a seven foot three demigod Stephen Curry. And then I've also made another player that has no badges and as short as possible. This roster, like I said, works best for this VC glitch. Also, there's an additional stuff that you need to take after two games to ensure that you get VC each time that you do this glitch, in which I will show you. So yeah, man, once you guys have adjusted all your settings, you wanna go ahead and load this game up. Once this game loads up, you guys wanna get through this game as fast as possible. So what I do is I shoot threes on offense and I let the AI score on defense. If you don't miss a shot, you should be able to get through this game within about 30 seconds. All right, so look, man, using my roster, you should be able to get through this game extremely fast and you will get your VC. After this first game, you can go ahead and hit rematch, but remember after every two games, you'll stop getting VC. So after this game, I will show you the additional stuff that you need to take to ensure you get VC each time that you do this glitch. So after this second game, if you try to hit rematch, it's not going to give you any VC. So after every two games, you want to hit the middle button on your controller, press R on NBA 2K23, and then you want to go to manage games and add-ons. Once you guys do that, you want to go down to save data, click A on your user profile, and then you want to make sure that you hit delete from console. Do not delete from everywhere or you will lose all of your players. Make sure y'all boys hit the lead from console and then you want to go ahead and reload the game back up. Once you guys reload the game back up, go ahead and go over to play now and then you can go back over to blacktop. You then want to set the same exact settings. Don't forget to reload my roster and repeat. Just make sure you clear your save data after every two games. 
to ensure you get VC each time that you do this glitch. So I'm gonna be showing you guys two different glitches that you can do using my MBA. So what you wanna do is go ahead and start up a new my MBA file. And then I almost always choose the modern NBA. You can choose any era that you would like, but like I said, always do the modern era. And then you also wanna adjust some other settings as well. You can hit advanced through, through this part right here, and then you can choose any NBA team that you would like. Just make sure you guys remember which team that you pick because that is very important. When you guys load in, it's gonna ask you to auto-generate rookies. You do wanna make sure that you hit that. Now, before we do this glitch, there's a couple of different settings that we wanna change, and these settings will apply to both glitches that I, that I wanna show you using the My NBA. So what you wanna do is first, you wanna go down to your front office, go over to roster, and then you wanna tap over until you see all players. Once you guys do that, press start for the quick edit mode, and then you can highlight the whole entire row under height, which will allow you to adjust everyone at the same time. You wanna make every single player in the NBA as short as possible. You can also take down their weight as well. And if you wanted to take this to the next level, you could also make every single player in the NBA have 60 overall attributes and take away their badges as well. This is important because you wanna win every single game, which will give you the most VC possible. Once you guys have adjusted all that, you then wanna go ahead and go back over to the team that you chose. And for your team, you wanna make every single player on your team as tall as possible. So we're gonna have a team full of 770 demigods. You can also up everyone's weight. And then also, if you wanna take this glitch to the next level, you could give every single player in the NBA max attributes and max Hall of Fame badges as well. Once you guys have adjusted that, you can go ahead and confirm changes through that, and then you can back out. Next, what you wanna do is you wanna go ahead and go down to your coach settings and just make sure that you put the timeouts on manual. This is also important because this will save you some time as you're doing this glitch. You don't want your coach calling timeouts, which will slow this down. The last thing that you wanna change is you wanna go down to your options and then you wanna go to your settings and then you can hit general. Now listen bro, for this first glitch, you wanna start out at 12 minutes. After you do this glitch the first time, you wanna set a 15 minute timer and then each time that you do this glitch, you wanna go down one minute. Because if you try to spam the same time, it's not gonna give you any VC and it resets after every 15 minutes. So you wanna start out at 12 minutes and go down each time until the 15 minute timer goes off. So after you guys have adjusted that, you wanna go ahead and go to your next game and then you wanna go ahead and hit simulate with simcast. Now, you guys wanna wait for somebody to get the tip off and then you wanna go ahead and press start. Go over to SimCast and then you wanna hit normal SimCast. You then wanna put the simulation speed all the way up and then hit continue simulation. You wanna get to the fourth quarter with under 20 seconds because that's gonna allow you to save and quit. Make sure you are paying attention because this does go by extremely fast. Once we get under three minutes, I go ahead and put the simulation speed on slowest and then you can hit continue simulation once again. You wanna make sure that you stop this once you get to the fourth quarter with under 20 seconds. That's very important. If you miss that, the game will end and you'll have to restart. So yeah, man, do yourself a favor and make sure you are paying attention. So once we get to the fourth quarter with under 20 seconds left, you wanna go ahead and hit, uh, you wanna stop the simulation and then you wanna hit play game jump in. Then you wanna hit press start, go over to SimCast and then you wanna hit normal SimCast live, press start, jump in once again, press start again, and then you wanna go ahead and hit save and quit. If you're in the middle of a shooting a free throw like you're seeing right here, just go ahead and shoot the free throws. After these free throws are over with, it should go ahead and allow you to save and quit. So after you shoot the free throws, save and quit, and then you wanna go ahead and reload the same exact my NBA file up once again. All right, so look, man, once you guys read the same MyMe file up, you want to go ahead and let the game run completely out. 
Once it runs out, you wanna go ahead and hit quit, and you guys will see on the bottom left hand side you will earn your VC. We made a thousand VC in about 30 seconds or so. From here, you wanna go ahead and set your 15 minute timer. Go ahead and go back into your options, go to your settings, go to general, and make sure you put the quarter leaf down to 11 minutes and repeat this glitch. Make sure you go down one minute each time until the 15 minute timer goes off because if you try to spam the same time before the 15 minutes is up, you won't get any VC. So for the second MindGay glitch, this is gonna be an AFK VC glitch that you can use to earn VC without even having to be at your console. And the same exact settings apply to this glitch as the last glitch as well. First, what you guys wanna do is go ahead and go into your options, go to your settings, hit general and put the quarter length on 12 minutes you can put the quarter length on whatever you would like but ideally if we're doing this afk glitch you want to earn as much vc as possible so 12 minutes will be the best and you can spam this as many times as you would like for this afk glitch you don't have to worry about setting a 15 minute timer or anything like that but yeah man once you guys have chosen your quarter length go ahead and load up your next game and you want to go ahead and hit simulate with simcast live Once you guys do that, you wanna go ahead and flick right on your right stick to adjust the simulation speed all the way up to 6x. Now from here, you can do your homework, watch a movie, play a different game, maybe you have a different console, whatever the case may be. You just wanna have this running in the background which will allow you to make VC without even having to be at your console. Just make sure you check on this periodically because after this game is over with, you will have to start up the next game. So yeah man, from here, just go at AFK and let this game run completely out. All right, so look, man, after this game is over with, like I said, make sure you guys check, you guys are checking on this periodically. Go ahead and hit quit, and you will get your VC for doing absolutely nothing. And you can continue to spam this glitch by go ahead and going to your next game and hitting simulate with Simcast off and repeating, and then you can go AFK once again. All right, so look, man, the last two ways that you guys can get VC on this game is make sure that you guys are doing your daily spin. This doesn't give you a whole lot of VC, but if you get VC from this and you spend it every single day, it does add up. You guys can see I got 500 VC right there, which isn't a whole lot on this game, but like I said, it does add up if you do this wheel every single day. Also, make sure that if you guys can, that you're doing your quest. You can do all of your main quests and you can also do the side quest as well. And a lot of these will give you VC, such as you know the one for shoes or your nike endorsement deal or whatever the case may be make sure you're trying to do all of your quests because these will give you your vc the very last thing that you guys want to do is make sure that you're doing the daily pick them you guys go over here and go to this machine you can pick whatever teams you think will win for that day and this will also give you vc as well and like i said all these are going to add up especially if you take advantage of it every single day so yeah, man. Y'all boys, drop a like, drop a sub, turn on post notifications. We out. Peace.